welcome to my youtube channel guys today i am going to make a new video so please sabar kar sabar kar sabar kar whatever please sab sar i want to reach This must have been one of the toughest week I had so far. I don't want to spoil anything about this vlog but I haven't really had the time to do a lot of footage because almost for 2-3 days I didn't even shoot anything. Katrina Sakoshek. Boris and I know each other from high school. We went to the French school in Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, and then we kind of went our separate ways a little bit later on. But uh, my name is Katerina and I have an honors in fine arts from the Michaela School of Fine Art in South Africa, in Cape Town, South Africa. And I also am a digital marketing expert. Um, and now what I do is I help artists build their brand online and sell more art. And um, so Boris and I just decided to hop on a call to talk about some of our artist struggles because I've also been an artist for a while. And we just wanted to talk about, you know, the art process, what we've been doing, projects we've been working on. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video. Just finished this commission. I think this is going to be my last commission of the of the month. I do not have time for this no more, but I'm really happy. It was really fun to work on, especially the hair. And uh, yeah. Oh, let's go! The website and just do the internal stuff now. Like, that's it. That's the only way. Mm -hmm. On the poster, you should have something that says postpone. Maybe I can do that and send it to you. Like, yes. on the whole poster, there will be like a line that says postpone. And then you just have to write a small description like, I'm sorry guys, due to the pandemic situation in Rome, the numbers of COVID going, is rising slowly and it's not going to be smart for me to make an exhibition, one, because the responsibilities are high and even places like the exhibitions themselves are closing down. So just for safety's sake, we're postponing everything to next year. Simple. And it's not like people will not understand. You already said some people have already contacted you about it. So we will send an update as well for the networking event this week. Just saying, explaining what I just said now in the email and telling them just watch out for, you know, things on Instagram. But further than that, we won't have any physical meetings due to COVID. That's it. And mm -hmm. we'll send that in the email. <laughs> so, it works. As long as it works, man. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, man. I was so pumped. So, as you just saw from my post on Instagram this week, I decided to cancel my events until next year. The decision came a little bit in a rush, honestly. I was freaking out for four hours because I was so overwhelmed with, you know, thinking about like, this is not going to be possible, this is not going to happen. Because in that same evening, I, I was having the call with the place for the networking event because things weren't looking great for having an event and trying to organize something like that. So. The thing is, if I was just having an exhibition where I had my works up and people would come to the event and look at it, 
I would have tailored an event where you know people can come over a week and look at my work. But this was a full event with performances, music and with a lot of interaction happening. I didn't want to make an event just to make an event. I want to make an event to give an experience, to give out something that is way more than just someone putting a work up. So I needed to come to this decision also because I don't want to put anyone that comes to an event in risk. It was hard. Probably Bobo from last year would have done everything possible to make this exhibition happening. But I think this is the best decision I had to come to even if it was the hardest. So what now after all this? What am I going to do? Well, the usual. I'm going to keep drawing, make pieces, and also spend more time on single topics and maybe make an inktober piece. Comment with heart if you pumped about that. I needed to find myself again and putting my work in perspective and try to look at it from a different point of view was very important. I am lucky and honors to be able to exchange and talk to a wise and experienced artist like Pietro Ruffo. I went to his studio and I always get out of it with something much more. Having or finding a mentor in your practice is not that common so I try to keep in touch as much as I can even if you always end up feeling like you're wasting your mentor's time so you don't want to bother. But please do, it, it makes a huge difference in the direction your art could take. I needed to change my environment in order for me to feel better. That means taking away old works, cleaning up, take a time off my creative space and dig in and produce. I will probably feel much better after November, at least knowing that I probably would be much more productive for the end of the year while also having the time to relax now. Cause I boy, cause I boy, got my In front of the door, it's a baby, it's a baby, yeah Pass down, I'll swear to be a baby, yeah Tutto comincia, litigando e finisce per Sopra il tavolo, come vuoi te Non prendere per scontata questa decisione Non sono Realista, ma amo te Chiamalo come vuoi Ma io lo chiamo amore Chiamalo come, come vuoi Ma io lo chiamo amore My name is Em, I'm a friend of Bobo's and right now we just did a little bit of a collab. I am making what's called a zine, short for magazine and essentially it's a form of alternative media that in the past has been used to promote resistance against culture. It was a French philosophy uh, from the 18th century that was saying art is just beautiful for art. which. I disagree. Art is a tool that can be used for having political messages and power and Bobo really encompasses that. You can see that especially in his newer work, uh, really emphasizing on his heritage and the power of an African man, the power of a black man. And so literally in this shoot, we ripped apart the ideology, burned, ripped of flat for lat. Uh, yeah. You can find me on Instagram at emb.er and cheers to creating, man! Yay!
if you do have friends that are creative try to attend to their events a physical event is way more important than something that is done on social media and through Instagram when you are at an event you are able to see people expression how they react to your works how long they stay in front of the work what are they looking at and most of the time every kind of interaction you can have can generate new ideas and you get to also you get to listen to stories that comes from people that are looking at your works which is very engaging so try to attend the events of your creative friends and do show them support because this means way more than any kind of situation and it's free most of the time if the event is not free that kind of emotion is free to give so support your creative friends do that really it will be will be better for for the community for the art community in general like knowing that we heard and that what we do matters in some way it's very comforting especially in these moments compared with the other two vlogs this one was very different i hope you liked it and uh subscribe to my channel so please whatever I hope you like this one. Like I said, this is an ongoing and building channel. Try to give input as much as you can so I can make each episode better than the one before. And don't be shy to comment some things or send me a message in private. And yeah, it was uh, really nice to have you on this vlog again. In the next one, there's gonna be some funny stuff as well. Uh, I can already see that because the events that are coming are going to be a little bit less charged with work. Stay safe, do create, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.